Hola, it's Kanitha the Diva, your YouTube video vixen. And today, I have a bought me some happy. You guys call it hauls here on YouTube. I still don't know what haul stands for, and I don't really always use words that it's like if I don't know what it means, I don't really like to use it. So, yeah, somebody tell me what the hell a haul is. I don't know if it means like you haul everything out of the place or if, damn, this hair is like falling in my face. I don't know if it means like you just hauled everything out of the freaking store or if a haul means like, I don't know if it stands for something. But anyway, my point is I went to CVS Pharmacy. They were having a huge um, buy one, get one free on a lot of their products. Um, yeah, so anyway, I needed a new compact. You guys know I love my Revlon compact. Or no, I never told you guys about my compact. Sorry. This is um the Revlon One Complexion Compact. And I love it. It's nice and smooth. It comes with a little sponge inside. It's kind of similar to like the MAC ones. Um, but I, yeah, I tried um, MAC Moisture Blend at a uh, little stand in Macy's or somewhere. Was it Macy's? I think it was Macy's. But for me, I didn't like it because it felt like my skin couldn't breathe. You know, like, I don't know. It was really thick for me. Whereas this was just right. And they they actually have... Um, they have this whole thing that they advertise about how it's got derma breathe or whatever like that but basically it's so that your skin can breathe and i didn't really realize like how smothering some compacts are for your skin because i never i didn't really have a compact um other than my uh mac studio fix but that's just my powder so yeah and i wanted not a liquid foundation because i didn't want it everywhere i wanted something i'd stick in my purse take with me easy go you know what i'm saying um i actually have this on right now i like it because i can put it on light or if i want i can put it on heavy this color is a little dark for me but um it's more probably what i would wear in summertime so it doesn't really bother me i like looking like i have more of a tan so it doesn't really bother me excuse me but this was buy one get one free so i bought this and i got this free this is um the Revlon Color Stay Mineral Finishing Powder. I got the medium color, which is the Suntan Matte. And um, this, I would say that's cool about this color is I think many different skin tones can wear this color. Maybe not saying like, oh, if you're super pale, this will work. No, but maybe if you have, you know, a little color to your skin to darker pigments, um, Maybe not like really dark. They have another one for really dark uh, skin pigments. But probably to my skin pigment, this is good. But um, I bought this because you guys know before when I did my liquid um, foundation, uh, I guess you could say tutorial, just basically showing you guys how I do my liquid foundation and my blush, etc. And um, for my powder, I use uh, Studio Fix NC45. Yeah, my MAC Studio Fix NT45 Compact, but I used a brush, of course. And um, I, when I was at the MAC store and I was trying on the Moisture Blend, one thing that she had told me, because I had asked her, you know, um, well, I have Studio Fix, do I really need a finishing powder? Because she was about to finish me up with a finishing powder. And um, she had told me, no, you actually don't want to put foundation on foundation. It's better to just get a finishing powder. So I don't know if she was just trying to sell me something or what, but whatever. I got a finishing powder. I didn't, wasn't Mac, but I got one. So I bought this, got this free. It cost me about, I think it was $13.50 for the two of them though. So it was worth it. Then, yeah, they also had um, that new Revlon. It's like Revlon's uh, HD version. They have... Um, what was it called? Revlon, uh, not Color Stay. What was it? Picture Perfect. Photo Ready. Revlon Photo Ready Liquid Foundation. Um, and I almost grabbed it because I'd seen a bunch of reviews on there, but I hadn't actually read the reviews, or not read the reviews, but actually um, watched the videos yet. 
So um, I didn't buy it because you guys know I already have my custom creations and I love this foundation. So I just figured whatever. Now I have, you know, my powder to go with it to set it better. But um, I, I was about to go back because there was nothing else that I wanted that was buy one get one free in the red lawn because I pretty much have everything that I wanted <laughs> um so or that was on that sale so I was about to go back but I decided not to when I watched the reviews because everybody was basically bad mouthing it anyway they said it was cake dawn that didn't stay on your face so I was like oh pass um but anyway I did get another thing of what was already cheap makeup which is actually kind of what I walked in there for is um my NYC liquid eyeliner I love this eyeliner if you like eyeliner with a brush instead of a felt tip this is what you want to get I bought so many freaking felt tips recently and they pissed me off L'Oreal liner intense is really the only felt tip I would still say is cool I'm not messing with any more felt tips other than that but I like that this is only like what two bucks and it was buy one get one free so I got a pencil because I also wanted some pencil and this one's half so i got this for only a dollar um half gray and this half is black so i like that because maybe if you want to line the bottom of your eye that's really the only reason why i need a regular pencil because i always use liquid liner um but if i want to line the bottom of my eye i can do it in dark and then maybe like on the inside do gray and that way it's not i don't know a little definition i'll see how it comes out <coughs> there were other things Ooh. There were other things on sale that um, I didn't necessarily buy because I had them. One being the Maybelline Eye Studios. Um, I have, what, I have Tantalizing Teal, Ivy Icon, what is this, Bronze Blowout. <coughs> Ooh, choking on my own saliva. And this one is purple. What is this one? Lawless Lavender. Um, I have these because, like, I kind of had this. I knew this woman who sold makeup wholesale. And I don't know. In the pictures, the way they showed how the model's makeup came out wasn't really how I saw mine come out. But I haven't really played around with it. So I'll see. I don't know if I recommend those or not yet. But I already bought them, so I've got them now. And you guys know I don't throw out makeup. You know, I'll find something to do with it. But to me, it kind of seemed like the two colors weren't different enough um, that it looked like one color to me. But I don't know. Maybe it was because I was in a hurry when I was testing them. But anyway, so that's what I got. And I was letting you guys know so you can run out and get um, your stuff too. Because for buy one get one free, that's like damn near 50% off. Go get a bunch of stuff that you want. And yeah. I'll give you guys some ideas of stuff that I recommend that I like. So I'll catch you guys next time. Stay fierce. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And spank the stars, of course. That's where I mean by rate. Okay. See you guys next time.